The Copyright Act of 1976 gives copyright owners of audiovisual works the exclusive right to display the works publicly. As the parties learned in Columbia Pictures Industries Incorporated versus Avico Incorporated, even private viewings of a copyrighted work may constitute public performances. Avico Incorporated operated stores renting movie cassettes and private viewing rooms to the public. Avico's customers could rent a movie and pay an additional fee to watch the movie using a cassette player located inside a private room. Avico permitted only family members and friends of the paying customers to enter the rooms and didn't transmit the movies outside of the rooms. Columbia Pictures Industries Incorporated and other movie producers, which we'll refer to collectively as Columbia, owned the registered copyrights on the movies that Avico rented. Columbia's normal business operations partly consisted of distributing videocassette copies of the movies. Columbia knew that Avico and its other customers rented the copies out, but Columbia never authorized Avico to display the movies publicly. Columbia sued Avico, asserting that Avico infringed its exclusive right to perform the copyrighted movies publicly and to authorize public performances of those movies. Specifically, Columbia claimed that by renting the movies along with viewing rooms, Avico authorized its customers to perform the movies publicly. The district court agreed and found in Columbia's favor. Avico appealed, arguing that the performances weren't public.